guys, so today I'm doing this look right here, which I posted on Instagram not too long ago. I have no idea what to call this look actually. It's like freckled but like super blushy at the same time and it's not like your typical like brown freckles because I naturally have brown freckles because whenever I go out in the sun, I freckle right here. So anyways, um, yeah, I have no idea what to call this look but it just focuses mostly on the blush right here, the gradient lip, as well as super smoky eyes. So if you guys want to figure out how to do this look, then please keep watching. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to moisturize my lips because my lips are dry right now. And also, the contacts I'm wearing right now are the Bella HD Sky Grays. I will link them down below and link it to the video that I did on the Bella lenses as well. I'm going to be mixing my foundation because none of my foundations match me anymore. I'm going to be mixing the NYX Total Control. NYX Total Control drops in buff with some of this um, Face Shop Face It Power Perfection BB Cream in the shade 01. And I'll be mixing in some oil as well because I want this foundation look to be not that, not like dry looking. So I'm going to put one pump-ish of the BB and then a few, more than a few like four drops of this one and then I'm gonna put two drops of the oil in here I feel like this is still kind of light because I feel like it got quite dark on this trip that I went on I went for a whole week and like I got burnt on my scalp because I'm stupid I didn't wear a hat you need to wear a hat I yeah, know this still kind of white looking so I'm gonna mix a little bit more of the foundation so I'm gonna put a little bit more of these drops a smidgen a little bit I'm gonna take whatever's left over on this sponge and put it on my lips I'm gonna go in with NYX's color correcting palette and this color right here for dark circles on my sponge and just gonna put this underneath my eyes where I have darkness after that, I'm going to go in with the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline in the shade Fair. And I'm packing this stuff on because I want bright under eyes. As usual, blend it out. To set the under eyes as well as to do like light contouring with the powder, I'm going to be using Cody's Airspun and a spinning weather to get this in translucent or with the extra coverage one. But since my skin isn't really oily anymore, I just picked a translucent one. And I got this while I was in the States because we had to go down to Fort Lauderdale for the cruise. Went to Walgreens. Isn't like Walgreens like more expensive than CVS or something? Because like we like were in Walgreens and we're comparing prices of like the sunscreen. And like it was much more expensive than the other places. Anyways, I don't know. I'm not from the States. I'm going to pack this powder and just press that underneath my eyes. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. contouring brush and load it up with the powder and I'm gonna just pack it right into here. and some on the side of my nose as well. I look creepy right now. I still look dead. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna add color to my face. We're gonna let this sit for a bit and we're gonna move on to our eyes. So for today's eyes, we're gonna be using Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. And I just got this palette and I said I wouldn't buy this palette, but there was a VIB sale, so I just got it. Anyways, so going in with this fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. I'm going to take raw sienna and then put that into the crease. And we're going to take burnt orange and put that into the crease as well. But I'm going to be a little bit more light-handed and not put so much of it. So I'm going to take Venetian Red and I'm going to put that into my crease with a crease brush. So I'm just going to go from the outside here and just work that into my crease and then also the outer corner as well. Don't worry if it's a little messy, we're going to blend it out later. Then we're going to take this orange color Real Girl right here and I'm going to put that again on the outer corner just to darken it. And I want to darken it just slightly more, so I'm going to take the color Antique Bronze right here, this one. 
and just darken it just a smidget more. And I'm putting this into the outer crease and a little bit onto the lash line as well. So I already cleaned off my brush using the color switch. And I'm going to go in with the color tempera and golden ochre right here. These two colors right here, I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to blend out my crease. So we're going to take a second away from the eyes and we're going to kick off all this powder right here. And I'm going to be using this elf powder right here. So basically, I'm just warming up my entire face right now. And see, you can see there's that line still. I don't want that, so I'm just going to try to kick it off. It's a really harsh line. I don't like it. I put this on for a little bit too long, I think. All right, so going back into the eyes, I'm going to take Love Letter right here, this color, and I'm going to place that onto my lower lash line all the way, taking this crease brush. I'm just placing that on. And the reason why I'm using this brush is because it's a little fluffier. I don't want the color to be too concentrated. I want it to be a little bit more diffused. And I'm going to take the color Real Girl and blend that in as well. And then Raw Sienna to kind of smudge it. I'm going to take this black NYX liner and put that into my waterline up here. So for my bottom waterline, I'm going to be taking this old NYX liner in white and putting it just into here. Taking some of this Face Shop Tear Shine Liquid liner, I'm going to put that into the inner corners right here. I'm going to curl the lashes real quick. So I'm going to wait for this to dry and I'm going to put on a second coat. Um, in the Instagram picture, I was wearing falsies, like half falsies, but I really don't feel like wearing falsies today. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to wear two coats of mascara instead. I'm going to try to build up the outer corner more. So next I'm going to go in with some dip brows to do my brows. And this is in my usual shade, regardless of what hair color I have. I still use ash brown because I'm too cheap to go buy like three different shades for whatever I change hair color. So yeah. So I'm going to comb through my brows first on an angled brush. And for my brows today, I want to make them look not too long, somewhat full, somewhat angular. Does that make sense? So taking this, it's just a liquid liner, but white, and just go ham. And for in the picture, I did lots of little dots near my eyes. And don't worry if it looks kind of crazy, because the blush kind of helps it look less crazy. It almost looks like a constellation, but only white. There was an artist who drew like a picture. I'm pretty sure a lot of you saw it. It's like a watercolor or something like that. It's like purple, pink, blue, and green. It's really pretty, but that's not what I'm going for today. I'm going for like a blushed look, not a galaxy look. And on the nose, what I'm doing is I'm just randomly dotting it. You can go up as high as you want, but I didn't really go high in the picture. I just went across from here to here. So I'm going to let that dry just for a little bit and then I'm going to be going in with this blush right here. Where is it? Right here. So this is the Milani Baked Blush in Bella Rosa and this shit is really, really pigmented so you got to be careful. <laughs> I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like this. This is the Real Techniques Multitask Brush and being very light-handed at first because you want to be able to control the amount of color you have. Just Lightly just dabbing it into here. So I'm just dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. I'm gonna grab a little bit more and I'm gonna concentrate it right where the tip of my nose is. And then also kind of rubbing it in on the sides of my nose. Now it looks like I have a cold. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go with a little bit more heavy handed now. And when you do this, you'll find that you're actually making the white eyeliner less pigmented and you're kind of almost brushing it away. So it looks like it's blended into your skin almost. And I'm bringing this blush up closer to my eyes. 
I don't want it to go past my contour again. I'm just gonna put it right up here. This is very similar to the Igari makeup look. I'm just gonna take a clean brush right here and I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more because on camera this looks really strong. And I'm actually gonna go back in with a little bit more of the white eyeliner because oh, the blush actually made it like come off on this side, so. Next, I'm gonna go in with this highlighting powder from Wet n Wild. This is in Precious Petals, and I'm gonna highlight my cheek right on here. And I wanna concentrate that on the tip of my nose. And because we're gonna be super extra today, we're gonna take another highlighter. And this on top. Bam. And then this one goes on top of the Cupid's bow. And then some on the nose bridge as well. I'm going to take some of this highlighter and put this on a small brush and I'm going to put this into my inner corners as well. So, the last step is lips. Okay, I hope I was in focus for this whole video. If not, then I'm so sorry. We're going to go in with this first. This is the L'Oreal Paris... What is it? I actually don't know what this is called, but anyways, it's like a lip lacquer, lip gloss type thing. It's in number 190 Endless Red. So because we already put concealer on, we're kind of almost going to do a gradient lip effect. And I'm just going to put this in the center. And I'm going to use my fingers to kind of blend it out. So I'm going to take this MAC lipstick in the color Cyber. It's more of a dark purpley plum color. And I just put this right in the center, being careful not to go past my red. And take my finger just to blend it out just a little bit. And last but not least, we're going to be topping off with some shiny sparkly lip gloss. And we're just going to pile this stuff on, making our lips super shiny and glossy. So this is the final look. I think I went a little bit too ham on the highlighter, but who cares? You can never have too much highlighter. And this look is like super wearable if you're daring. Um, I was wearing this look around the house and my mom was like, are you okay? You look really sick. So <laughs> I don't know if that was the objective of this look is to look sick. But anyways, I really like this look because it's so cute. It reminds me of like, um, what was it? Like fairies and like those dolls. So so I hope you guys enjoyed this, my video of my trip to the Caribbean should be up either before this or after this, so I'm not too sure. I will see how I want to edit, I'm not sure, I'm really lazy right now. And like after I came back, I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. And I think I'm planning to change my hair color as well, I'm planning to remove this color out and put in something else. I'm not too sure. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!